Hello, coffee time, friends. It is coffee time. Good coffee. Mm. Today, we are having that meatloaf we talked about last night, Mama. Yeah. Mama's starting. She, patience is already halfway through with it here. No, I've just got the meat, and I'm going to put my apron on. <laughs> patience is started. All right, so I've got patience some uh, onions here. This is about a half of a yellow onion. And this is a pound and a half? A little over a pound. A little over a pound of chuck. And I'm putting a half of a yellow onion, chopped up to perfection, I might add. I did such a good job with my culinary skills. So that's what's in there. Onion and hamburger. Two eggs to bind it together. Hold up. Now it's 108 and we're just starting lunch, but we're going to be eating this probably about 140. You heard it right. We can do meatloaf that quick. Okay. We're going to show you how. Um, and this is where we talk about the micro grill. It does save time and it's, we use it. I don't think we've made many meatloafs without it since we've had it because it's so much quicker. Regular meatloaf is going to take you probably around 10 minutes, unless you make it really flat out on a pan. Uh, but if you put it in a loaf pan, it's going to be an hour, 15, hour and 20 minutes for a good sized meatloaf. Even, I mean a pound of meat to cook in that thickness in the moment. Yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while. So you really have to start it before church or... Do something a little different. What I'm doing now is I'm just pinching up some light bread to put in here. I've used crackers before. I use uh, some uh, oatmeal. Bread crumbs. Bread crumbs. But I just, my mommy did it like this with the bread. And it's the best way really the bread. It seems to work for us the best. And I want to use it this way. You can buy bread crumbs and give it a different flavor. Like I said last time, if you don't like meatloaf, it's just because you haven't tried it the right way. If you don't like it and you think, I just don't care for that, put a little oregano to it and put a little bit of um, Italian breadcrumbs in it. It'll give it a whole different flavor if you like Italian food. Be good. You want the rest of this in it? If you want Did you think it needed more? Ah, uh, that looks like quite a bit. You want more or less or not at all? I had a little left. And those are all act as binders. Binders is what holds it together, gives it that form, keeps it from falling apart. The eggs, the milk, the bread. Those are all good binders for your meatloaf. So, um, and I'm gonna, I like my little ketchup in it instead of it's so brown looking. It gives it a good, rich, pretty flavor. Squirt about two tablespoons of ketchup. Johnny's coming some more onions. That's all you get, Mom. The rest of them, they're spoken for. Oh, well. That's probably just the right amount. Perfect, thing. Mm -hmm. I'm making the topping for the meatloaf. And I'm making a Creole topping. And in this Creole topping, you're gonna have onions and some pepper, a little bit of pepper. And I don't like green bell pepper, but I do like these little sweet ones. So you're gonna have that. You're gonna have a little bit of celery. I'll show y'all when mama gets finished with the meatloaf there. I was gonna get pepper, that's what I come up with. I don't know whether to put salt or what, because I can use it. Uh, you're going to use this. Mm. Let's see what salt's in it. Uh, this has got quite a bit of sodium. It's 400 yeah. milligrams. We don't need no more salt in it. 
So here's the shake side. This is just meatloaf seasoning. Um, this is by McCormick. It's just, you can buy in the packs, but we just get it in this. You want me to shake, shake? Yeah. And I'm gonna put about a teaspoon. It's good. Maybe I'll put a tablespoon. Maybe, you, well, you know what? I ain't having no luck like that right there. Let me just get a tablespoon. It's kind of, it's coming out and clumping up. That's all I'm getting. So I'm just gonna go with a tablespoon here. And I'll probably put two tablespoons because. No, one, because I'm gonna put some. Oh, okay. You all in it. Okay, so she's switching up. If you get a packet in the store, usually what those packets hold about two tablespoons of seasoning or gravy mix or whatever you have. So we're using, this is y'all's fancy steakhouse seasoning. This stuff is delicious. And I'm going to put a tablespoon of it in there. So with one tablespoon of meatloaf seasoning and one tablespoon of y'all's steakhouse. And that should make a perfect meatloaf bowl. Remember, if you want to buy into y'all's brand, go over to the y'all's website and type in code word John J O H N capital letter, and uh, you'll get ten percent off everything you buy for a short time here at the beginning of the year, February. I think they had it in January, February. So it's a wonderful opportunity to rack up on some good sales. And I gotta go there and get me some. Cause I'm a ranch, just better. Now I'm down here, like I said, over here on the chore board and I am chomping up celery, onions, and this little pepper. This is the heart of the celery. This is the leaves. Don't throw that away folks. That's some good celery. Uh, you don't want to lose the opportunity to use those leaves. I think I've got it mixed pretty good. All right, Mom. I've got all the spices. I'm going to spray my pan. It looks good. If I need good. to spray it with this, it shouldn't stick. You don't have to spray it. I um, spray it. It doesn't stick. Meatloaf looks good. Smells good. You, put some, you didn't put no salt. No, you said that other had. Uh, mm, sounds like a delicious meatloaf. So uh, we're not. We're not milk, no, uh, sodium in it. Sodium. Yeah. We're sodium. not putting any uh, grease or anything in here because don't need it and it just adds to it. So that's another good thing. And it'll make plenty of grease. That's a little speck of onion. I guess it's all right to it, It'll make plenty of grease. Now this will be done in about 20 minutes because it's not huge. So that's the reason I say you're saving time. And it, it does save a lot of time. It doesn't um, take long for these things to come be done. We have made meatloaf in this probably. It comes with a ring that you could put in here and we've got them. It doesn't come with it. You can buy the optional, but you can buy the ring. You make cornbread in it or any other. But we just shake it out, put it in there, just well, like just this. Don't need it. You're making Creole sauce. I want it to be about the same thickness. Yeah, I mean, you've got it. You want to put a little ketchup on? Put it back on. Yeah. yeah. Just a little bit of Heinz ketchup on it. I'm gonna make Creole sauce for it, but this will add a little layer of flavor. I love the flavor of the cooked ketchup on the meatloaf, the sauce. But I'm gonna, sometimes this is all we do. Just put ketchup, and then we'll add it about 15 minutes before um, to, I can use that right one. And now I use this, put it on the grill mode, and put it down in there just like that. It's gonna cook from the top and the bottom at the same time. That's how you get by with cooking a whole meatloaf in 20, 25 minutes. Now I'm gonna make the top for it right now, and this is what I'm gonna use. I've got celery. When you're making a Creole sauce, it starts out with the, they call it the trinity of celery, onion, and pepper. 
Now I've got a little celery there, and this is probably as much celery as I need when I cut this little bit here off this end. If I had to, it, it depends on your family, you may need a half a cup of each. But you see here, I've got about two tablespoons of celery, two tablespoons of onion, and I'm going to have plenty for our little amount, for our little, for our meatloaf. Like I said, that meatloaf is a little over a pound, so that's going to be plenty. And I'm just going to cut it in small little pieces, just like this, and then I'm going to even chop it up a little finer. I'm not going to use all that, I'm saving that just for a snack. I love to keep celery chopped up, or in about this size, a little bigger, in the refrigerator. And sometimes I'm just wanting a snack or in between meals, you think, I just like to have a little something. If you go to the refrigerator and it's already in there, it's already washed, cut, ready to go, you're much more apt to grab it than you are, than, than if you just got in there and you count Probably something not as healthy as celery. Celery is a negative if you're eating celery. Um, it takes more, it burns more calories to eat it than it and chew it than it does than it has in it. So really when you're eating celery, you're getting, you're burning calories. Now, this little pepper has been washed. And let's just cut the tip end off here with the green part. I've got my garbage bag right here. And I'm just going to take that little seed pod out. Just take my knife and go right around it. Knock it off in the bag. Did not nothing off it. It's, it's cut. It just must be attached at the very bottom. We'll find him in a minute. Oh yeah, he's caught up in all that. I take the ribs out of this pepper just to get all the bitter and all that out of it. Just like this. That's what you're looking for. Get rid of all that stuff right there. Let's see what y'all are saying. They call that mix of onion, celery, and pepper, holy trinity, life out loud. That is what I think they call it, isn't it? I think that is. And it has tomato in it, which will be the ketchup. And then I'm gonna put just a dash dash of this. Y'all know mama don't like hot. This is just a little bit of Tony's uh, Creole seasoning. I like it pretty good. And I'm gonna put a little bay leaf in it. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of this because that's what we put in the meatloaf. Whenever I fix a sauce or an icing or something, I like for it to resemble whatever I put in the mix. So if I make meatloaf, then I put pretty much the same things in the sauce for flavor profiles. I want it to, you know, blend well, be a part of it. I'm going to get this on the stove so it can be heating up while the meatloaf's finishing up. If it's making meatloaf the traditional way, I'd have no worries at all. Because it'll only take this about 10 minutes. And the meatloaf will take an iron 45 or an iron 15 minutes, so I'd have plenty of time. So when it only takes 20 minutes for the meatloaf, 15 minutes for this, you better get it in there. In 15 minutes, I say that that's just what I usually do but it's until everything's tender and done. Until everything's tender and tasty. You might not think this one little pepper would do it, but it will. This one little pepper will give you plenty of pepper flavor, plenty for me. So what do y'all have that? Can't see, move the camera. Yes, Julie, sorry. I thought I had just down there, didn't I? Who moved that camera? Did Mama go there with that camera? No. I'm not getting over there. Mama, we ain't gonna be mad at you. Julia might. Julia said, move that camera, John. Thank you, Julia, because I, I wasn't, didn't have it down there. All right, so that's 
the uh, Trinity, whatever they call it. So in here, I'm gonna put ketchup. Probably a good cup. Good cup of ketchup. Maybe a little, that ain't hardly a cup. I should have measured it, but you know, how you are. So, I'm gonna tell you all, cup of ketchup. This is about a half of a yellow onion going in. You know, we put onion in the meatloaf. We didn't put celery, but you need celery in your creo. And then a little bit of this yellow pepper. Now you can saute this to start with, but if that ain't the flavor I'm going for. I don't want, I don't want it to browned or anything like that. I just want it to be tasty. Just want that pepper, onion, and pepper, onion, and uh, celery to really good and tasty. And now I'm just gonna put a shake, shake of this because. Mama don't like hot, and I don't want it to where she won't be able to eat it. This is mainly for looks, just a little parsley. It'll look good on there. It'll dress it up a little bit. Gonna put a little bit of y'all's fancy steakhouse. A good shake, shake of that. This is going to be the topping for the meatloaf. Now, it is a whole lot easier just to use some ketchup. And I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. That already two tablespoons. That's all I'm gonna do. That's it. And a bay leaf. Did I say that already? I didn't put it already, but did I say it already? I thought I remembered it. Don't leave the bay leaf out. If you don't have one, of course you have no choice. But it smells so good and it tastes so good and it adds that one little flavor that you'll be going, hmm, what's that little flavor in there? And of course you take the bay leaf out before you spread it on top. I'm gonna put a little bit more ketchup because it needs a little bit more color. And that's it folks. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. If we need it, the meatloaf will have plenty of salt and pepper. Mom, would you set that on? on uh, the meatloaf will have plenty of salt and pepper and it'll be good to go. I've got to find a little onion. What's wrong with that onion paper? It's a little one everywhere. Okay, onion paper everywhere. Uh, are you cooking the meatloaf in the microwave, Randy? I am. I know that sounds absolutely crazy to some of y'all. And if it didn't have the right thing to cook it in, it would be. You threw the brown sugar? Yes, I'm through with everything, man. I'll clean it up. I'll tie it together. Anyway, this is done. That's done. But that micro grill, we've made hamburgers and everything in there. And meatloaf in the microwave in flat 20, 25 minutes. If you're making a little bit of a smaller one, you could do the whole meatloaf in less, uh, in about 20 minutes. Let me, I don't know. In the kitchen and a camera, I've always got a halo going up here. And it's not a good one. It's one of those that's kind of yucky. A yucky halo? Well, you know, it just looks like a big smudge. Um, I'm making chicken parm. Oh, Rosa, uh, Rosanna, I love chicken parmesan. Love it. I'm eating celery now. Burning some calories while I'm talking to you all. John, I am posting the recipe with Creole sauce. Snella. Thank you. That one may be a little different. We did add the y'all's this time, Nola. 
and a little bit of the Creole. Mama don't always do the want the Creole, but she said yes to that. My daddy used to cook delicious meatloaf in the microwave. It's good, Diane, isn't it? You're raised on it. Making sloppy joes and fries, Brandy. Brenda, a friend of mine, told me last week she was going to give me her, I think it's her grandma's, her nana's recipe for sloppy joes, and she said it's absolutely delicious. In fact, she's the reason I bought that fresh thing of bay leaves, because, you know, you don't always keep fresh bay leaves, and she said, it has a bay leaf in it. And I said, well, I'll be getting some to bring me that recipe. That goes oh, yes. This is my special. Nancy's Steakhouse. We keep it in its own little drawer over here. Well, it's not its own drawer, but it's in the end of the Tupperware drawer. Um, anyhow, so she's going to give me a Sloppy Joe recipe. I can't wait to try it. Sloppy Joe's used to be the end of the line for Mama. You know, you've heard Mama talk about her Mama. If she gave him sandwiches, that was the end of the line. That was wash day. That was the day that... We never got sloppy joes. We just got a bologna sandwich. No, but for you, when I remember when I was a kid, I would ask for sloppy joes, and Mom would say, we may do that some other time, but not tonight, or mm, I don't know. Which meant she really didn't want to serve that for supper, but if she had had a hard day and had a lot to do or got in late, she would open up a can of sloppy joes put a little meat in it and stir it up. And she said, oh, we've got sloppy joes tonight. I didn't have time. So that was kind of like her go-to quick fix back in my, when I was a kid because I loved them. Just like, you know, kids love raviolis and spaghettios. I and, never did have them. No, I never got those luxuries. But my, my cousin did because he loved them. And when I'd go to his house and he'd be eating that fancy spaghettios and stuff because he loved them. He wouldn't eat the same thing, so they fed him whatever he would eat. His mama was a good cook too, and I always had homemade stuff. But we would eat homemade stuff she fixed, and he would eat raviolis. I have a king, because that's all he would eat. Good afternoon, Kathy. How are you? Sister Schubert's Rose. Finally catching y'all live. Well, Don, hey, how are you? Uh, I'll add the extra seasonings. Okay, no. My mother-in-law used to make spoon burger. Oh, I've heard of those, Brenda. Those sound really good. Hey, we oh. made spoon burgers. We had homemade sloppy joes on Fridays, not the canned stuff. So now, when Mama would have sloppy joes, it would be the canned stuff mixed with. Um, hamburger meat that she would bring. But I think my friend is going to give me a homemade recipe and I can't wait. I don't have a, a sloppy joe recipe. Now Mama Sue has one and uh, I may look hers up too. But because uh, I've seen her make hers and uh, but I can't wait to try the sloppy joe recipe. You want some celery? I hate to eat from y'all. Oh, you don't hate to eat from them. You do Would you like some celery, Mama? No, thank you. This is uh, Sean uh, cheating on those six. Cheat rattles today. Good old Mrs. Schubert. We was at church. She ran by here this morning, made up these rolls, and had them laid out here. We just love her. Y'all use Mrs. Schubert's? Sister Schubert's. Huh? Sister Schubert's. Oh, Mrs. Sister Schubert's. These are Sister Schubert's, the frozen kind. They're wonderful. Mama says, we're having Sister Schubert's rose nuts. Says, she is such a doll to come back here and make them for you all the time. Because they, they're just like homemade. Proud. You'll love them. Are we having mashed potatoes? Yeah. Give me peel some potatoes. They're cooking. Oh, she says they're cooking. No, I don't need you to peel them, John. They're on the stove cooking. You must have done that while I was playing and messing with that gong. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing right now, sitting here drinking coffee, talking to you all. I think we've got it all going. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day here. A little cool. Windy. It's like we borrowed it from March. My granny used to say, 
Did your, did April you borrows days from March. April borrows days from March, but March, um, February borrows days from March. And my granny used to say, I hope we don't have to pay for these days that February is borrowed from March. Meaning, March will come around and give you a snow. March will do that to you. March is a little bit on the un unpredictable side here in East Tennessee. We could have a warm March. You know, what is it? If March comes in like a lion, it goes out like a lamb. I mean, if it comes in bad weather, then the end of March will be pretty. If it comes in pretty, it'll go out like a lion. I mean, it's going to be rough. And that happens a lot, don't it, Oh, yeah. Uh, but Granny would say, we're going to have to pay for these days that we borrowed from March. If February has pretty days, we say she borrowed them from March. But today is March. Today is windy, cool, but nice, but sunshiny. sunshiny. Makes you want to get out and do some spring stuff. Then when you get in there, he says, get in the house. <laughs> Not worried about it yet. Get in the house. You ain't, you ain't time for that mess. Get, get back in the house. So, that's what, what day we're having here today. We're at 11. But we love the rainy days too. What temperature does it say on the night It says blur and blur. Blur and blur. I'm 56. 56. I thought I started to say 46, but I know. Sometimes I do my eyes just right. 56. I can see them blurry numbers. 56. Northeast Tennessee, Charles. That's where we're from. Powers. Someone's got a prayer request on here. I can't see. Uh, but I see other people praying. Brenda, thank you for praying. Hey, y'all, please pray for my leg. Brenda has replied. I don't know who had the recent request, but whoever it is will send up prayers for you. Hello. Love to watch you both. Well, thank you, Jerry. How are you? I remember having snow on my birthday a few times, March 19th. Doreen, I can beat you for 10 days. I remember having on 29th. Yeah, March 19th, 29th. Snow. See how Doreen Hunt does us? My cousin has a birthday on February 18th. Most of the time, as a child, we could have her birthday parties outside. And we could kids could play at the birthday party outside. And it was a big deal and a lot of fun. I'm born... A full month and a few days later, and my birthday would be snowing cold, and you couldn't go outside. I always thought that wasn't fair. <laughs> and I would even say, it's pretty on her birthday. It ain't never pretty on my birthday. I remember one time, Mama had cake and everything made up, and uh, it poured the snow, and the ground was white on my birthday, March 29th. But one time, we had a humdinger of a snow on April 3rd, too. We had, what was it? Was that the time we had a foot in something, Mama? Oh, that wasn't the big snow, was it? April no. 3rd? No. Mm -hmm. We've had it in April before. So don't out, don't do the weather. Here, we don't go, we don't say we're clear to plant and do things till Mother's Day. Mama's mama, my mama used Actually. to say, when the snowballs bloom, and it's a bush called a snowball bush, there's this big old white, round, looks like snowballs, bloom on it. And she'd say, you can't plant till after the snowballs bloom. The only difference in that is you can do like, you can do root vegetables before the end, and you can do lettuce and onions, green onions, before the end. But if you're wanting to put tender flowers out or something, you better wait till Mother's May, Day. May the 10th. Usually, May the 10th. Usually when it says. So after Mother's Day, we call all clear. Usually after Mother's Day, we're through with all bad weather, freezing wise. But sometimes. Are you yeah. through with this till I can make? Well, it? I want to eat the rest of the celery sometime. But I'm gonna set it, it over here. Put it in a little container, and we'll put it in the refrigerator. Well, well, I just. I've got some. I've got a whole bunch over there. I'm gonna cut up more pieces. How's that Creole? Is it need me? Does it need anything? I don't know. Here you look at it. Is it tender? I don't know if it's tender. I'm just going to... Mama says, I don't know. It's cooked. Let's look at it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look-see. So this is that Creole. Onions, peppers, celery, ketchup, just Heinz ketchup, 
a dash of Creole sauce, a little bit of the um, y'all's southern of the steakhouse seasoning, and um, um, oh, I said onion pepper um, and celery, and a bay leaf, a bay leaf. Come out of there. See, there's that bay leaf. He's just right. I'm gonna push him up to the side so we won't eat him. But his flavors are still I'm gonna take a taste, Mama, because it could need something. I don't know. Always taste your food as you're going so you won't spread it all over your meatloaf or spread it and not be ready for it. Not taste the way you want. It could be bad. I'm gonna set this here and you can check to see if this is perfect. Oh my. I'm gonna set it back. Oh, oh my, the Creole is spot on. Not just because I made it, just because brown sugar. I just tasted it. It's delicious. I love putting it on meatloaf. Don't have to put it on there every time. Like I say, sometimes, sometimes we don't. Meatloaf is done. How long has meatloaf been in there? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, meatloaf is done. Oh, it's burn. I took it too long. <laughs> you think you burn it? Oh, I know what that is. Ketchup. That's ketchup, Mama. That's ketchup. Mama. Mama's thinking she burnt the meatloaf. It ain't burnt. It's just ketchup on the top and where that laid right directly on it. It's not, it's not burnt. I'll show y'all right here on the bottom. Oh, I'd like to put it on. Yeah, I'm going to take it out of this grease. Seems like the hamburger meat we've been using here lately. See, it's perfection. Uh, the hamburger meat we've been using here lately has got watery. Even though we buy the lean. I probably can get it with this right here, Mama. Mm -hmm. Probably, if I can't. You want this one just in case? We'll try that. Had I not put that ketchup on there, I always put ketchup, but not that soon. Had I not put it on there, you wouldn't have had this. This ketchup's got sugar in it, where that plate touches right on it. That's the reason it got dark, but it's not burnt. The meat itself is not burnt. It's just browned from the, but it did get dark looking from the ketchup. Note to Seth, if y'all catch me trying to put ketchup on there next time, early like that, Hi. say, John, don't do it. Remember last time you made it look dark. Well, we would expect. But you can see it's just the top, the ketchup. The rest of it's fine. Ketchup will, sugar, anything sugar will get dark if you uh, touch it to that plate. I'm going to see if it tastes dark. If it tastes as dark, we'll take the top off. No, it don't. It's fine. With that whole meatloaf cooked in 20 minutes. And it's tender and good. Even that dark ketchup. You can tell as I peel off just that top layer of ketchup. That's all it's dark. The rest of it's perfectly good. Tender. No problem. Now, I like this dark part. You may think, well, that wouldn't look good enough to take somewhere. It's going to. I'm going to leave that on there. But the bottom is good and browned. I need to let it set so it will. Yep, the bottom looks perfect. It's gonna look good enough to take somewhere. When I put that Creole on there, we ain't taking that nowhere. That's going downtown right here in downtown Oswego. Mama, you want me to put better on your rolls? I put some on them before I cooked them. You got that better up there that you could use on these. I'll just wait and use it on my text 
And you don't want to mix your good batter with my with these super rolls. Mm -hmm. Now look you here. You think, well, I wouldn't take that. You ain't finished with it yet. This is the good part of the Creole. Fixing that to give me that bay leaf. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You get the bay leaf right back. All that, and then I dropped it. You held on to it. Pretty good. You're saying I did pretty good to, yeah. to have messed it up in the end. Yeah, you did good. And that's the meatloaf, folks. Let that cool. Mmm, that Creole is outstanding. Here, Mama, let's have this spatula too. We've served it up, fixed it up. <laughs> See, you never know uh -oh. that John put ketchup on it. I won't do that next time. I will. I remember, probably. Mama said, remember last time you had it looking burnt with that one? Sugar ketchup. You like your fried meatloaf to look like it. I do. I I always when Mama used to do it I'm in in the loaf pans, I'd always get the end piece that might get a little brown, a little and, crunchy. And then when I fry, you want oh, to let them fry brown. We, when she fries them, I want them to look brown. Like that almost. Yeah. Mrs. Schubert's. Sister, Schubert. sister, mama. I can't get used to sister. Is she a nun or is she just somebody's sister? It just says sister Schubert. Does it come from I don't know. Mrs. Schubert? I guess I like Mrs. Marie Callender and Mrs. Schubert. Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith. That's what I'm thinking about. I'm Southern. I have I to call her. She is. I'm Southern. I have to call her Miss. Sister Schubert's. Well, Mama, she could, she's got an outfit on. That's just a black toy. Anyhow, there they are. Sister. Sister Schubert. Sister Mrs. Schubert. We got butter out here like it's a, like it's a side dish today. Well, I gave it to you to butter the road. There's the meatloaf, folks. Finished product with the Creo. And that's going to... Mm, smells wonderful. Oh, let's see what y'all are saying. I suppose y'all up. It says... She buys those, Lou. Lou buys those. My favorite rolls, Wendy, they are so good, aren't they? And they're just so easy. And really, it's one of those cheats that I wouldn't stand to make rolls for the difference in the way they taste. Sounds good. Hello, Mama. Hey, Becky, how are you? Those dinner, you buy the dinner rolls too, man? I love them. You might have to hit the overview. You might have, what? Well, you might. Oh, is there an overview button on the left corner of the comments? What's that mean? What's that do? Looks delicious. Thank you, Rhonda. Good rows. They are good rows. Wow, I got you both live. Great. Well, thank you, Connie. We're glad to have you. Hello from London. Oh, wow. Hello. From London, Miss Bridget, how are you? Hi, Gail. Meatloaf will be great. It is going to be good. I love meatloaf. I could eat meatloaf more regularly than we do. Mama says we have it a lot. She said, we've had meatloaf. I said, Mama, it's been long you think. I could eat it every week. Um, and I can eat it for a couple of days and not say a word. I'm perfectly fine with leftover meatloaf, and we'll probably have this for a couple of days. I'll eat it. Lunch. I love peas. Love mashed potatoes. Let me mash them for you, Mama. Yeah. I 
all the meatloaf sandwiches the next day. Oh yeah, cold right out of the refrigerator. Do y'all like to heat it or just eat it cold? It's kind of with me like pizza. I almost rather just heat it, eat it cold is to heat it. Um, if you put it in the easy bacon with aluminum foil, or you all taught me that the air fryer does a good job on reheating. So a lot of times mama and I will reheat stuff in the air fryer instead of the microwave or something because y'all said it was good and we found that a lot of stuff is good. A lot of stuff is real good in the mama. Oh yeah, there's your cream. Honey. Did you put salt and pepper? I put salt when I cooked it. How about butter? Put butter. I ain't put cream or pepper. She says cream. It's evaporated milk in a can. We buy it. Uh, it used to be pet cream, and then they went to evaporated milk. But it's evaporated milk. Just a little bit of pepper. I don't know about salt. We ain't gonna put no salt. We'll just leave that out. We can salt it on. We can the salt it. Is on it thin the... enough or need more? Uh, it. It might need another dash of cream in a second. Let me get this. Can you, y'all can't see again. No, I can't see. Sorry, folks. I'm telling you, my camera person ain't worth a flip sometimes. I like to have a new one, but you gotta go with what you have. Keep this one, we don't pay him nothing. No, no, he don't get no cut. That's the reason he's got his job still as a cameraman. Yeah, it needed more evaporated milk because you want it a little looser than you want to serve it because within two minutes, it's going to firm. So if you think, that's the way I want to serve it, add you a little bit more evaporated milk. And I don't like to whip them because it makes them starchy. It releases too much starch. I just like to gently mash them and not overwork them. It's kind of like a biscuit. I don't want it overworked, I want it just right. And those were just right. That's just right to me. I'm gonna fill the plate. Mama, you will need something for your meatloaf. You got your silver stir server over there? Uh, I don't know. That good one's over here. Use this. That's high, perfect. High cutter will be so let's cut this one for meatloaf. 20 minute meatloaf in the microwave, in the micro pro grill. Didn't take any time at all, and it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna put that on my plate because it's an end piece, and I always like to give mama a middle piece. <laughs> Because if I can get her to eat some protein, I want it to be the very best I can get her. She likes that Creole. I'm getting your tea. Is that all right? Oh, all right, Mama. Are you kidding? You know me better than anybody. Else. I didn't even ask. You don't have to. It's kind of like asking me if I want coffee for breakfast. I know. That's pointless. That's a waste of conversation. Don't you think? Uh-huh. Would you ever waste ask me, Mama? Air. No, it's a waste of air. It's, it's a waste of air. Actually, you could go with that theory any day of the week, any meal. Yeah. John, you want coffee? Yes, I do. Even if I'm drinking something else, guess what? I still want coffee. A lot of people say they want coffee for after their meal. I don't wait that long. Y'all see me piling up drinks all the time. I want coffee, tea, water. It's my daddy was telling everything here coming to me. Now, right now is the point when dad would look at mama and say, <laughs> if I got everything here coming to me. The reason he would do that is because we'd be halfway through the meal and mama would yell out like she'd been <laughs> shocked. shocked with him. Oh! And put her hand over her mouth. And me and dad both would go, are you okay? And she said, that makes me so mad. She jump up, get in the refrigerator, and drag out deviled eggs or coleslaw, coleslaw or 
So Something she made earlier and put in the refrigerator. <laughs> and so Dad would say, Now we got everything we got coming to us. Mom would say, Nope, I got devil eggs in the refrigerator. <laughs> Do y'all have that experience at home? Anybody have that at home? I know some of you are. bad for doing it. Mama would never just say, Whoops, I forgot the devil eggs. She'd always, Oh! Mm. I get mad at myself for. <laughs> Let's bless it, Mama. Then we're going to let these folks go. Dearly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And we just ask you to bless us. And Lord, we just ask you to bless each and every one of our friends and just be with each and every prayer request, Lord, those spoken and unspoken. Lord, lead God and direct us and help us to do the things which you'd have us to do. In your blessed name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama. You got anything you want to add today? No. We're going to go enjoy this wonderful Sunday hot meal. It's already 153, but it was 108 when we started. So we have gone from scratch, this whole meal from scratch, potatoes, meatloaf, everything. We, we fixed it right here in the bowl in front of you and cooked it for 20 minutes in the microwave. It's done. It's ready to eat. It's delicious. It's simple. Enjoy. Y'all have a great blessed day. Enjoy yourself. Find you something good to eat. Make some memories with your family. That's enjoy right. this beautiful day. I hope life you can. Enjoy life. Enjoy it all. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Mama. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.